and it's a medical emergency for a passenger. It's the just released 911 call made as Carrie Fisher suffered a heart attack on board a flight from London to Los Angeles. One of our international flights coming in from London. It's about 10 minutes out. The pilot actually sped up the plane in a desperate attempt to get Carrie the help she needed. What's the ETA? 12:28. No, it's making up time. They'll be on the ground in 10 minutes. Despite the pilot's efforts, Carrie died four days later. As the heartbreaking 911 call was made public, so was this. The panicked 911 call from Debbie Reynolds' home after she suffered a fatal stroke one day after Carrie's death. So is she awake? Okay, is she alert? Can you wake her up? You can hear the panic and confusion as the 911 operator tries to get information from an assistant about Debbie. About how old is she? Are you with her now? Are you able to get near the patient? Uh, her son is in there with her. Todd Fisher, Carrie's brother, was at Debbie's side in those final moments. Fire department's on the way. We'll be there shortly. Debbie and Carrie lived side by side at this compound here in Beverly Hills. Behind me is the gate to Carrie's driveway. And right next door, just a short walk away, is the gate to Debbie's driveway. Their houses are just behind the thick grove of trees. I usually come to her. You can see Carrie actually carrying a tray of food over to her mother's house in this sneak peek at the HBO documentary, Bright Lights. Money, mommy, I'm home. The compound is a hive of activity today as Carrie and Debbie's family members and close friends gather to remember their lives. We spoke exclusively to Carrie's half-sister, Trisha Fisher, who told us they'll be serving Carrie's favorite food, fried chicken, as they share cherished memories of their beloved sister and mother. Finally at peace after a double tragedy.